Trial Director 6.3, the latest update from InData, includes many new and exciting features as well as updated tools based on user requests. Dealing with synchronized exhibits is one of the more difficult tasks that a technology consultant has to coordinate, and 6.3 makes it easier. The linked exhibit display control allows you to define the zone for the linked exhibit as well as the zone where the video will play. When defining the target zone for the video, choose a specific zone or let the software automatically select the most appropriate zone based on where the exhibit is being displayed. If you would like the exhibit to display in the same zone as the video, for example, both displaying full screen in Zone 9, select the option Display Linked Exhibit in Same Zone. This feature is especially useful when you need to listen to the audio of the deposition and focus attention on the exhibit or an area of the exhibit that the deponent is discussing. The Waveform Clip Editor is a handy tool to create and edit video clips. New buttons on either side of the Waveform Editor add 5 seconds to the start or end of the audio, making it easy to navigate the starting and ending points of the clip. Because of the ubiquitous nature of the PDF image format, Trial Director has added options for creating a single PDF for all selected pages or creating a new PDF file for all selected documents. You also can produce customized footers for each page that are permanently applied to each PDF. Markups and redactions can also be applied as part of the Export to PDF option. Transcript playback options allow flexibility in how the transcript is displayed in the presentation. Selecting the option to show page and line numbers makes it easy to reference exactly where the clip originated in the deposition. The original view of line numbers only creates a classic view of a transcript. To craft a closed caption type look to the transcript, select the Do Not Show Page and Line Numbers option. When playing back a clip with multiple segments, a transition may need to be added between segments to indicate when the segment has changed. Open Presentation Preferences, select Exhibits, and find the section titled Digital Video Transcripts. Set the crossfade duration for anywhere between 0 milliseconds, which translates into no crossfade, and 500 milliseconds, which is one half second. Test the crossfade in presentation mode and adjust and fine-tune to the desired setting. There are times in trial when you may receive an email or electronic document containing page and line number references for deposition designations. Copying and pasting the designation to the clipboard and using the Paste a New Clip function is a new way to create those clip designations. In the Transcript Manager, under the Clips menu option, select Create Clips Using Clipboard. Enter your clip identifier and clip description in the designated areas. Next, copy and paste your clip designations into the segment area. Intelligent Design allows any page-line format combination. For example, page-dot-line, page-dash-line, page-space-line, or page-semicolon-line. Click on the Create button to create your clip. Unfortunately, many videographers are still creating deposition videos using a variable bitrate as opposed to a constant bitrate. When it comes to clip creation and playback, the variable bitrate is not as accurate or consistent in final playback. To accommodate the inconsistencies and potential issues related to variable bitrate video, Default corrections can be applied to the segment start and end. Open Presentation Preferences and under the Exhibits menu option, find the DVT Play Options area. Adjustments can be made from 0 milliseconds, which means no adjustment, up to 500 milliseconds, which equals one half second. Some users prefer using keystrokes over a mouse. In version 6.3, there are some updated keystroke combinations that you might find helpful. The Alt-I combination will select the last used callout tool. 
The Control G sequence, when used with a virtual clip, prompts you for a page and line entry to jump to a particular location. Simply press Control G, enter the page period line, and press Enter. The presentation will move to that location in the transcript. There is a new method for exiting Trial Director's presentation mode. The classic procedure of pressing the Escape key to exit displays an exit dialog. In 6.3, to close the presentation without anyone seeing any dialog box, press dash EX and the presentation will close. Occasionally, images are delivered with an improper orientation, such as portrait rather than landscape. To batch rotate a group of documents or pages, select the documents or pages, right-click on the list of images, and choose Rotate Selected Items. The rotation flag for that group of selected images is now saved with the rotation applied. New zone flexibility has been added to the presentation module with the Free Zone tool. For example, Place any four items in Zones 5, 6, 7, and 8. Select the Free Zone tool and you'll see Control Handles. To resize an item, click and drag a control handle. Now that each object is set to the desired size, tile the objects or create whatever layout is best for the presentation of the objects. Now that the objects are appropriately arranged, use the Screen Snapshot tool or the Save Stage tool to save the layout for display as either a snapshot or, if additional manipulation is needed, a Save Stage item. Thanks to the valuable input and feedback from our clients, we are pleased to offer updates and add new features. Hopefully, this quick tour of version 6.3 will encourage you to get the latest version of Trial Director. For a complete list of all of the new features or to watch other tutorials, visit InData's website at www.trialdirector.com. For more information about Trial Director 6 or InData's other software products and services, contact an InData account representative today at 800-828-8292.